Hey there YouTube and welcome to a new thing that I'm doing. I'm going to start doing uh, tutorials from now on, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, and today we're starting with a cooking tutorial. Oh, muffins. So I'm going to be using a recipe from Cooking, a common sense guide. Of course you can use your own recipe book or just Google it or something, but uh, yeah. I'm just saying that this is the book that I'm using. As you can see here, I've got all of my ingredients. 3 cups self-raising flour, 1 cup caster sugar, 2 eggs, 1 cup milk, and 90 grams of butter. It doesn't actually specify what type of milk to use, so I'm just using my light milk. Same deal with the butter. Before you can start cooking, you uh, have to make sure that you have a clean workspace, uh, clean utensils, uh, and clean hands. Step 1. Turn oven on 210 degrees for preheat. Then you grab your one cup and you fill a flat flour three times and chuck it into this big old bowl here. Now we have our three cups of self-raising flour. We're just going to chuck in a couple of casting sugar to make it a little bit sweeter. And as the recipe says, this looks like a lot. Maybe it's not. Now that we've got the um, base in, we're just going to make a bit of a well in the center and um, add in our two eggs that we've got here. And mix them in quite well. It's the messy part, so hang on. I'm doing pretty well so far. I've made a complete fool of myself. And they're in. Good work me. Uh, at this point we're also supposed to have um, put melted butter in so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave and lightly cook it until it's warm but not boiling. Ten seconds at a time should do it. It's already looking pretty good, uh, so I'm just going to give it a little bit longer in there and then I'm going to go and take it out and put it in. you just got to keep going until you get it right. Alright, well that's about as good as it's going to get. I'm just going to go and chuck it in. Alright, last thing before I can start mixing it. One cup of milk. Delicious, delicious milk. For the soul. Mm. Alright, let's get a mixer. Give it a bit of a good old hard go, making sure that everything is mixed together. It is as one substance. I just noticed that the um, oven's actually ready now, which is good. So I'm almost ready for it. Oh, this, you really gotta put a bit of muscle in it, it's a bit hard. Alright, well, what you just uh, didn't see off cam was me um, opening this tin and um, not opening it all the way so that I can pour all the liquid out that I don't want. I've still got some liquid in this, but uh, yeah, now I'm gonna add it in. And then stir it around. Blueberry muffins. That's the twist, big twist. Uh, I probably should have um, added this in before, but uh, we're just gonna have to go with it. Oh no, this is, this is mixing all right, it's going all right. What do you guys reckon, pretty good, pretty good? You are gonna be delicious. All right, I probably should, oh. Probably should have drained more of the liquids now, but I'm sure the oven will uh, fix it up for me. Uh, well, I could always just add in more self-raising flour, of course. I think, I think I better. This is turning into a very ad-lib cooking lesson, isn't it? Well, uh, I'm just going to add in half, half a cup because I'm not really that sure how much I need, but I probably shouldn't add in a whole extra cup. Sure, it'll be all good though. All, all good, all good. Just to make it a little bit thicker. I wouldn't want it to be too runny. This is looking a little bit better. It mightn't look very appetizing, but I tell you what, I can't wait to eat these. I've been waiting to eat, have these for like ages. In fact, I um, went and specifically cleaned the oven for you guys, so you better be grateful. You bloody uh, YouTubers, native to the internet. And I know you're gonna be very grateful, aren't you? All right, I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm sure we'll find out in time. 
Now that you've got your mixture all done, you've got to start laying these, uh, your baking tray with your walls of your muffins. And once you've got them all in, chuck the mixture inside of them. You can use all different colours if you want to, but I'm just a little bit lazy. Depending on the size of your muffins, you uh, might want to use the second tray. I think I'll just leave it at that for now and just start putting some in. I did actually have a bit of a taste test before on this, and uh, it tastes pretty good. So, uh, pretty sure it'll be really nice when it comes back out. And there you have it, look at those delicious muffins. Who's gonna eat them? Not you. <laughs> and, oh, use it all. Didn't need that second tray. Yeah, I showed you, didn't I? Didn't I? Oh, oh yeah. Now it's time to chuck these bad boys in the oven. Make sure you have gloves on because they're gonna get hot. Now we're gonna chuck them in. Close it up and hope for the best. This recipe says it'll take about uh, 20 minutes, but uh, I know that my oven's probably not the same as yours, so. And of course, while you're waiting, you can clean up. And then when it uh, comes out, give it a bit of a give it a bit of a check and make sure it's all good, and maybe put it back in. Look at them; they're pretty. Yum! I've actually got to double check with a skewer to make sure that they're all cooked all the way through. And would you look at that, nothing came back off of that skewer when I pulled it out, nice and clean. Yum to eat. Once you pull them out of the oven, you've got to go and pick them up and chuck them on the cooling tray. And now we have the Peace de Resistance.